Hello guys, welcome back to Patrick TV GH. This is your savings tutor, Mr. Patrick Bank, coming your way with another edition on this channel. Um, so if today is your first time joining us on this channel, this is Scanners number one financial YouTube channel. We discuss money, we discuss financial discipline, we discuss financial independence, we discuss things that will help boost your business. And today we are going to discuss a topic that is very dear to my heart, which is financial freedom. The world is going through difficult financial challenges. And as an individual watching this video, you need to also work towards what we call financial freedom. What is financial freedom? How does it impact on us? What are the ways to attain financial freedom? And that's what we are going to be discussing on this channel today. So if you are here and you have not subscribed to the channel, quickly hit on the subscribe button, the red button and um, share the link with your friends, family members to also know what is happening on this channel. As I said in the introduction, we are going to discuss financial freedom. And I'm sure we all like to enjoy freedom, the ability to move around. So when you're in prison, it means that you don't have your freedom again. So it means freedom is a very critical and important thing in our life that we should all cherish. So just let us take a short definition of what financial freedom is, then we'll delve deep into how it impacts on us. So let's just look at the definition. So many analysts have defined financial freedom as having your money work for you so that you have enough savings, financial investment, and cash to be able to afford the kind of life we desire for ourselves and our family. You and I deserve the best in this life. And to deserve the best in the life that we are living comes at a price. To be able to attain financial freedom not to worry about what to eat, what to wear, what you should be doing on your retirement. It's not something that is attained by just wishing. It's something that comes through hard work. It's something that comes through conscious effort. On this channel, we've been talking about financial discipline, financial freedom and all that. It means that we are focused on making sure that our lives are well calculated. And how do you attain financial freedom? How do you get to the point that you have enough cash enough savings, investment, so that you have something to fall on for yourself and your family. There are two ways that you are going to learn to, in order to attain financial freedom. The first one is what you have been talking about every day, which is financial discipline. Be disciplined financially. In times like this, where cost of living is going up, you can't be doing the same thing that you were doing last year. When the fuel price was at a certain point and now it is almost double, you can't be living your life the same way. And that is where financial discipline comes in. How do you attain financial discipline? My friend, the first thing you have to do is to make sure you have a personal budget and you work by it. You cannot live your life anyhow by spending the money that comes into your, into your hand and always complain. I've always said that complaint does not solve any problem. And you can go about blaming everybody around you. You can blame the government, you can blame your father, you can blame your spouse, you can blame anybody. But the main person that you should blame is yourself. And how do you stop blaming yourself? By living according to a set out plan. And that's what we call financial budget. Have your personal financial budget. Two, you should learn to live within your means. In times like this, learn to live within your means. You have to learn to adjust your lifestyle in moments like this. 2022 is not a normal year. We all know what is happening around the world. Things are going up. Price of goods and services are increasing. You don't have to live the same lifestyle. You need to adjust your life. Places that you go that does not add anything to your life, you have to begin to cut them off. If you are someone that always drives on weekends, go to chill, have fun, your, your salary is still the same. But the more you go out and engage in the same habit, the more you are going to drain your finances. So learn to adjust your lifestyle. These are the things that comes together to say that you are financially disciplined, that you are living your life in a certain pattern. Another way that you can achieve financial freedom is what we call financial empowerment. This year, learn to save more. Learn to invest more. On this channel, we've been talking about the kind of investment that you can put your money into. Learn to invest and save more. If possible, and you have enough time and you can start a business, learn to start a new business. A business that can even support your, your everyday going out. It can be supporting your food. It can just be supporting the food that you eat. These are things that when you join together with the financial discipline, the small savings, the more business you are running, then you get to the point of financial freedom. A point that you don't have to 
think so much of what you're going to eat. A point that when you lose your job, you know that for the next six months or one year, you can still survive. That is what we should be aiming at. And that's why we are so much in, uh, passionate about this topic, financial freedom. I want us to get to that point where we are comfortable. You should not be working and still be complaining about financial challenges when you, you are not committing to a savings pattern, when you are not committing to an investment pattern. And that's what we discuss here on Patrick TVGH. I believe that today's session is just straightforward. Pick what you have to pick from this lesson. It's if you don't have a personal budget, begin to draw a personal budget. If you don't have or don't know how to learn to live within your means, it starts with a budget. If you draw the budget, it will direct you how much you need to spend on item A, item B, how much you need to spend on data, how much you need to spend on fuel, how much you need to spend on the fees. That is the way to go. And that's the only way we can march towards financial freedom. Learn to be financially motivated in all that you do. Learn to be financially disciplined and learn to empower yourself in this year 2022. This year should be a good year for you if you are able to put your life together and have a plan for your life financially. If you have enjoyed our session, please subscribe to our channel on YouTube, Patrick TV GH, and follow us on all social media platforms. We'll be back next week with another educative session on this channel.